Hello, hello, and welcome back to our episodes, episode 9, and last episode we went fishing, and we got these awesome stuff in my inventory here. We got a double jump, tsunami in a bottle, and also um, rash sailfish boots. And uh, last episode, what I told you guys was that I was going to get a lot of um, uh, bait, and then this episode, we're going to do something with that bait. And as you can see, we have 17, oh, we're going to have 18 in a second, hold on, craft that, 18 enhanced what, enchanted worms. Um, four apprentice bait and ten uh, journeyman bait, which is 30% bait power. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to keep on doing the... Uh, we're going to keep fishing and we're going to collect wooden boxes. But not only that, wooden boxes, you guys have said, wait till hard mode and then open them. Because then you can get some really amazing stuff. So I'll definitely do that. And also, um, we're going to try and fish for the reaver shark, which is the best pickaxe you can get before hard mode. And guys, I do know the swordfish does 19 melee damage, but the problem with it, it's stronger than my current sword. The problem with it is this, it's a poking one. It's not actually a, a swinging around one like this one. It actually swings around like that, and I prefer this one a lot more. Uh, so yeah, I got a chest, so we can place it down, and uh, we can put our stuff in here. So like, um, we can deposit this this we'll just put all of these fish stuff that we get from from the ocean in there anything we get on the, from the ocean will go in there and uh, that's about it i think and we leave our we'll leave our bait and our reinforced you know fishing rod in there once we're done but um yeah we have 32 bait which is amazing and i'm also doing it in the rain because someone in the comments said um that in the rain the percentage goes up i don't know if that's true or not but i believe them so it doesn't really matter. Rain is there whether we like it or not. Actually, can we catch that snail and use it for bait? Let's let's go ahead and check. Okay, no, no, we can't. Oh my god, I actually almost died. <laughs> but yeah, guys, in the future episodes, the plan is we're gonna go to the once we get the reaver shark, we can go to the crimson, break one of the crimson hearts, which will hopefully spawn a meteorite. We'll get some meteorite armor, and we'll hopefully get the meteorite gun or the space gun, whatever it's called, because with the meteorite armor. The space gun won't use any um, ammo or any mana, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah. And also, someone told me in the comments um, that when the when this bobbling thing is down, that's when you click and then you'll get something. So, there we go. Just like that. So, uh, hopefully, well, now that I know how it works. Oh, wooden crate. Perfect. Now that I know how it works, we can obviously fish a lot better and a lot faster. And uh, it's just going to be a lot more efficient. And I'm going to do a quick cut of this fishing episode. So that um, it, I'll only show myself catching stuff and not actually talking. <gasps> oh, the iron crate. Oh, my God. That's really good, actually. That's better than a wooden crate. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we have 32 bait. So we're going to be here for a while. You know, maybe I'll just do a quick cut of like me catching stuff. Because otherwise, there's not much to talk about right now. We're going to get a load of trouts, I, which is annoying. But yeah, hopefully we get the reaver shark. We have 32 bait. And it's raining, and we have like 35% bait power and stuff, so there's no reason we shouldn't. Oh, by the way, guys, I did have the die trader, you know, the DYE trader. He moved into one of the last NPC house. So we've got no more spare NPC houses, which means I'm going to have to make another one. And the reason he did was because I picked up this strange plant that everyone kept talking about, because people in the comments kept talking about a strange plant and how rare it is. But I don't know how rare it actually is, because I see a bunch of them around the world. I've seen like three so far, and I picked one of them up. Um, and apparently you can trade it and make some dye with it. So, uh, yeah, everyone's been going crazy over it. So I picked it up and then the dye trader came. So not really happy about that, but what can you do? Ooh, we got another, we got swordfish. <laughs> I don't really care about swordfishes, not gonna lie. 19, yeah, they're not great. And here we go. Oh, another trout pulling, uh, tuna. Tuna. Ooh. Uh, shrimp. <laughs> Perfect. My favorite meal. Maybe nighttime will bring out more thingies. Iron crate! Yes! Amazing! Man, it's going to be hard to wait till hard mode to open those. It's re it really is. Here we go. Trout. And tuna. I feel this. Oh, it's just a trout. And trout again. Oh, <laughs> this sucks. And shrimp. Reaver shark. Shrimp. This next one's the reaver shark. I can feel it. Oh, wooden crate. Even better, I think. <laughs> I think it goes from wooden crate to iron crate. And then there's obviously a bunch more after that. Uh, wooden crate, awesome. But yeah, we're gonna save the crates for hard mode, hopefully. Oh, another trout. See, yeah, that's what what I'm wondering, right? Is is there any point saving it for hard mode? Because in hard mode, we can always, obviously, once we're in hard mode, we can make a better fishing rod. We can get better bait, and it's, and obviously, once we have our bait farm set up, it's gonna be a lot easier to get bait. So I'm thinking, is there any point waiting for hard mode if we can get like better? Oh, another iron crate. If we can get better crates as well in hard mode. And like with with better fishing rods, obviously your your chance of fishing, you get better stuff and everything. 
So, uh, what's the point of actually waiting for hard mode? If I could actually, when hard mode hits, get a much better fishing rod. And then I'll be able to pick up a bunch of crates and stuff. So, yeah. You guys can let me know in the comments. And tuna. There we go. Ooh, wooden crate. Nice. And a wooden crate. Awesome. We're getting some really good stuff. I assume that's because of our bait is awesome. And it's and it's raining as well. But yeah, going like this, we should be able to get a reaver shark soon. Cheer out. Not great. Uh, balloon puffer fish. What's that? An increased jump height. Oh my god. Oh, we need to wear that. Uh, let's see what we can replace. Um, that's, that's actually really useful. Uh, we don't need this for now though. Alright, so... Oh, wow. Oh, that's not a little bit. That is a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you joking? And then... Oh, wow. Wait, do we take fall damage then? <laughs> we actually take fall damage because we jumped too high. That is brilliant. Wow. I really like that. I really, really like that. Oh, my gosh. It's brilliant. Amazing. That was worth it. Here we go. Trout. We need to get, like, the horseshoe or something. Because the horseshoe, if anyone doesn't know, uh, makes you not take any fall damage. So that would be really nice to have. Or even just wings. And shrimp. Tuna. Here we go. Uh, red snapper. And we have a wooden crate. Not bad. And bomb fish. All right. Not, not so bad. But not really what I want. And another trout. Trout again. Here we go. A wooden crate. Awesome. I think we're going to open all the crates, honestly. Because, I mean... Like, the iron crate. At least want to open one iron crate just to see what's inside it. Hopefully it's something really good. Because like I said, once we get to hard mode, we can make better fishing rods and we're more likely to pick up crates from the sea and stuff. So, I'm not too worried. Here we go. Red snapper. And a trout. Perfect. Honestly, I don't even know what you can do with all these trouts. Like, you should be able to use these, like, trouts and tuners as more bait. That would be cool. Ooh, and another iron crate. Sick. I feel like the reaver shark is coming soon. I really do. I mean, we've still got 24 bait left, so hopefully it's enough. Another wooden crate. Awesome. Not not complaining. A uh, shrimp. <laughs> All right. It's not a tuna, but uh, yeah. And we have an, a, another tuna. Amazing. I don't know what it is with tuna today. I think it knows that tuna is my favorite sandwich, which so is giving me a bunch. Oh, and it stopped raining. It's weird. It sounds so quiet now. Like, I can actually hear my own voice while speaking. <laughs> It sounds so weird. And tuna. You know what? Maybe we'll just throw it further away like that. Maybe that will give us something. <laughs> it's like a few blocks away. And nope. That's just another trout. We need to go further. There we go. Another trout. Amazing. So going further literally does nothing. Right, I think he uses it from right to left. I think that's what I read. So we'll use the apprentice ball next and just leave our good ones for later, I guess. And a wooden crate. Brilliant. And we have another wooden crate. Awesome. That's not bad. Oh my god, that that fallen star fell on me. Well, that, that disproves that. I thought, I was asked the question, if a star fell on you, would you die? And the answer to that is no, thankfully. <laughs> we just tested that. Yeah, so it does use the one from right to left. All right, that, that's good to know. We still haven't used our best bait yet. So if we're getting, you know, that good of a stuff with 30% bait power with the previous bait that we had, this is 15, I think we're on. So it's not great. But if that's what we were getting with the 15 or the 30%, then the 35 should be very good then. I know I've used the 35 before, but this is, you know, using it properly. And we've got 18 of them. I say properly, but we've got more of them. So I'm just excited about that. So right now we're just getting trouts and stuff. We've got 10 wooden boxes. Not bad. And a trout. Oh. And we have another trout. Man, when is the... At some point, the, the, the reaver shark has to come at some point. Some One of my subscribers said he got, he had 18 um, bait. And the, I think it was the enchanted one as well. And he got the, the thing. So he got the reaver shark. So I'm hoping... Hoping we get it. Wooden crate. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, the worst ones are when you're waiting a while for it to actually bob up and down. And then you do it and it turns out to be one of the rubbish ones. Like a shrimp. <laughs> That sucks. All right, we just have to use one more. Once it goes to 18, we know we're going to be using the better bait. And, oh, tuna. Come on, man. Give me a... How about a shark? How about a reaver? Put them together and give me a reaver shark. <laughs> Please, game. I'm losing all hope at this point. Hey, and there we go. We're using the best bait we have now. So, and it gave us red snapper. Nice. So hopefully, I was going to say, hopefully it gives us something good. Tuna. Yep, that's that's exactly what I wanted when I used 35% bait power. You know what I really want? A trout. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh, this sucks. And, oh, bomb fish. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna use it ever because we have a demolitionist. We have no need for a bomb. We've already got bombs. Why do we need it in a fish form? Is the question. The answer is we don't. And oh, trout. Man, you know what? I wish it started raining now. Then we could use 35% bait power with a 15% fishing rod, I think it is. And with extra rain, it would be awesome. Wooden crate. Yep, that's that's not bad. I'm not actually complaining about that. Wow, that used like bait quick. That did. And oh, more bomb fish, really. I mean, it oh, yes, it's raining again. Woohoo! <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so now that it's raining, we should have more more chance of getting something good. So yeah, I just teched it, and when it rains, it gives you 20% um, fishing power. So that's awesome. That's that's really cool. I mean, hopefully it's enough to get us to a reaver shark, maybe. If not, then I'm 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 losing all hope at this point. <laughs> We've got the rain, 35% bait power. And I think 35% um, fishing power now with our fishing rod because of the rain as well. Because our fishing rod is 15, rain gives us 20. And put those together, you get 35. Come on! Ah, iron crate, not bad. I'm actually happy about that. We got, man, these worms are being used up so much faster than the other stuff. Wow, okay, trout, nice. I say nice, but I'm crying inside. Another trout, brilliant. Another trout, wow. You know what they say, three in a row and you're super unlucky. Oh, we've only got 13 bait left. Bombfish. Ah! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Give me something good, please. Oh my god. I'm actually scared we're not going to get it. Um, honestly, we had 32 or something bait. And, and we're down to 13. And we're not getting anything. The ones are being used up faster than the other bait that we had. So, I'm really nervous. You know, at least we got the balloon puffer fish. I can't really complain. We did get something good. So, you know, that's nice. Why am I attracting trouts? Give me the bait that attracts, like like crates and reaver sharks oh there we go <laughs> looks like i used it that time <laughs> you know what i hope we get a trout oh got a shrimp maybe if we say what we want it will give us the opposite right all right i hope we get a trout a shrimp a red snapper yeah one of those three give me them please oh he gave me a red snapper all right there goes my logic <laughs> Come on! Oh no, we're on 11 B. Oh, it's going down. I'm yelling timber. Oh, tuna. Oh, we got a swordfish. Don't really care about it. You know what? I'm just going to go sell them, honestly. All right. Oh, trout. Trouts. You know, trouts are the bane of my existence. I'm going to I'm gonna kill myself with a trout. I'm going to choke on its bone. Honestly, how much do we have to do we have to fish for us to actually get, like, good stuff. Like, so far, I just got one good thing. Like, besides the crates, obviously. I just got, like, a balloon uh, puffer fish. Which isn't so bad. But, I mean, I want... Uh, that's not really what I wanted. What if I came here looking for balloon puffer fish? Would I get the reaver shark? Maybe. That's probably how it works. A 10 bait isn't bad, though. I mean, 10 bait is still quite a lot. So, no need to panic yet. Because, like, one of the baits, like, you can do, like, 10, 15 fishing with it. I say 15, like, maybe 12 max. If you're lucky. Oh, but when you get trouts all the time and shrimps and red snappers, then it doesn't really matter how many bait you have because it's just all going to go on them. I say 12 max, but I think it's actually more than 12. That's really cool. I think 20 max, maybe. And that's pushing it. Hey, iron crate. That's awesome. Can we get the reaver shark from an iron crate, maybe? Hmm, let me look it up. The answer is no. You cannot find it in a crate. So that that's super sad. Oh... <sighs> I don't know. I don't think we're going to get it, but we did have a nice time fishing, but, but we really didn't. That's a, that's actually a big lie. I don't know why I said that. We're going to lose health. Oh, we're not. All right, cool. <laughs> we can actually lose health by jumping too high. <laughs> See, it went from nine to eight so fast. My God. It's like one lasts forever and then the next one just goes in one, like one fishing rod thing. Oh, and there we go. We're on seven now. Ah! Come on, please. Please. Please, Reaper Shark. I'm begging you. I've been here for so long. A frog leg? Really? Oh, increases jump speed? That was auto jump! <gasps> that is amazing! Oh my god! I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, let's get rid of you then. We don't really need you anymore. Alright, increases... Oh my god! Oh <laughs> my god! Are you joking? Oh <laughs> no! We're freaking Superman right now! This is amazing! Wow, so jumping up is high. We jump up much higher. It's auto jump as well, which is amazing. Hold on. So what, what does auto jump look like? Like if I have like a pillar here. Uh, well, auto jump didn't work then. What does it say? 
Increases speed and allows auto jump. Increases fall resistance. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to look it up, but that is insane. Wow. That's awesome. I really like that. Not going to lie. It's amazing. Yeah, you know what? I, I'd say this was a successful episode so far. It's brilliant. That is amazing. Because the hardest part about Terraria is getting over stuff, right? Like, find, like even when you're mining and everything, getting to different places and... Um, you know, getting to different blocks and everything like that. It's hard. It's hard work. And you have to place, make bridges. You have to do all of these weird stuff. Like make bridges, have a hook on you, stuff like that. But with jumping, you can just jump wherever you want and get around the world, get around underground so much faster. And it's just brilliant. It really is. So uh, I'm really happy right now. Like that's really sick. I didn't even know frog's leg were a thing. I think it's a 1.3 thing as well. Obviously, once we do get mage items, we are going to swap it. And so don't worry about that, guys. But yeah, it does take a while to get like that good, that good amount of stuff. So if it took that long to get, you know, frog's legs and it took like, I don't know, 11, 12 bait to do it. And you remember one bait, you know, you can do a lot of fishing with it. Well, most of the time. So if it took that long, then with the reaver shark, I don't actually think we'll get it. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We still have seven bait left, so we can't really despair yet. <laughs> we might, maybe we'll get lucky and get it as well. But to be fair, the rain, I think, helped a lot. It helped us get loads of good stuff. Like, so I'm, I'm really happy it was raining again. Well, so far, we've been on seven. I think I caught, like, six tuners and, like, eight trouts or something. It's just, and a few shrimps as well. So the seven is lasting a long time. But I think it's going to go down to six and then go down to five. Like, like from six to five, it's going to go down really, really quickly. So... That's usually the pattern that it follows. <laughs> so I'm not looking forward to that. Because <laughs> then we'll be on 5 bait. Honestly, I haven't had a full stack of anything in this game so far. But I feel like Trout will be the first thing I have a full stack of. Because <laughs> we keep getting so many. Oh, and another swordfish. I, I don't like these swordfishes. I really don't. I'm just going to sell them. Uh, red snapper. Don't like it. Another red snapper. Another red snapper. Wow. All right. That's three in a row. <laughs> and bombfish. All right. The streak had to end. You can't get red snappers forever. Ooh, and a wooden crate. Nice. <gasps> it's opposite here. That means not nice. So, wooden crate. Not nice. And another wooden crate. Not nice. That is rubbish. Trout. Excellent. I love trouts. Oh, we're on four bait now. I'm not happy. Wait, that means I'm really happy. <laughs> oh my god. Opposite here is confusing. <gasps> oh my god. We got it. Oh my god! Yes, boys! Oh my gosh, with four bait left. And like like 35 minutes of fishing and we got it. Yes! Yes, this is it! Exactly what I wanted. Oh, you know what? Let's keep fishing. Let's keep fishing and then we'll test it out in a bit. You know, I was, I was watching the, the thing, the screen, and then I see some big like fish come out and I'm like, damn it, it's another weird type of fish that I haven't gotten before. I integrate nice. Weird type of fish I haven't gotten before. And then I get in my inventory that says, Reaver Shark. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> That's amazing. Now I just want the bait to finish because I'm done. I'm done fishing now. <laughs> we got we got everything we wanted, which is like the Reaver Shark. And more. We got so much more than what we wanted. So uh, that's that's it. That's that was the oh one of the best episodes. Like last episode, I said it was the best episode, but this episode, even better. Oh my gosh! Because next, oh, I wouldn't create as well. Because next episode, what we can do is we can um, go to the crimson. Oh yes, I'm create. It's amazing. We can go to the crimson biome. We can destroy a crimson heart. We can get the meteorite to spawn, and it's just we're gonna progress. We're gonna start progressing, and we can actually go mining and actually mine really, really fast. Right, we went to from four to two bait really, really quickly there. But yeah, we can start mining really fast. That means we can get more materials really quickly. We can, um, yeah, we can just overall just progress so much faster now that we have a reaver shark. Because mainly, especially with mining, and and we have the jump as well. <gasps> Alright, we're saving the golden one for hard mode, 100%. We're going to open like one iron crate and one wooden crate and that's it. But um, yeah, because with mining and stuff, the, the worst part about it is if you have a rubbish pickaxe, then it takes a long time to mine. It's just really slow. And especially with jumping, like I said before, jumping is huge. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I re you guys have no idea how excited I am with the series again. Because I was getting like, ooh, we're not progressing too fast. But now that we've gone fishing, we're progressing super fast with the stuff we're getting. And it's just amazing. It really is.
So I quickly use up these two baits. If I get anything good, I'll let you guys know. But if I... Oh, okay, swordfish again. But if, if you don't see any more cuts to fishing, then I probably didn't get anything good. And there we go. We are done with our bait. And we didn't obviously find anything good. So yeah, overall we got one, two, three, four, five uh, swordfishes. So uh, I'm going to sell all of those. 32 puffer fish or bomb fish, 24 shrimp, 98 trout and 36 red snappers, 23 wooden crates, one golden crate, one iron crate. Brilliant. That's really, really awesome. And we also obviously got the frog's legs. We got the balloon puffer fish. And we got the Reaver Shark, which is insane. And also we got another Sawtooth Shark, which I will also sell. So I'll just leave that there. All right, let's just uh, quick stack all of this stuff. Um, there we go. And let's open one iron crate and see what we get. Boom. We got a mining potion. Oh, <gasps> Master Bait. That's awesome. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let, let's not do that again. Um, all right, let's open this and we got three silver six and then journeyman bait. All right, that's awesome. So uh, what we're going to do is um, in oh, in here, we're going to, you know, obviously quick stack everything that we don't need. And the, the bait, the super duper bait, we're going to leave in there. And the journeyman bait will leave in there. And uh, yeah, let's go home and let's make sure we don't have to put anything in here. And we don't, so... Oh, our our fishing rod, obviously. Almost forgot that. And yeah, let's go home. Oh, I don't want to deposit that. I want to use it. <laughs> and boom, let's go home and put our stuff away as well. Wait, does that mean if we just, like, fall from here? Wow, we take no fall damage. <gasps> and look at this. We can jump all the way to there. That's insane. Oh, when it says auto jump, I think you can just hold on the jump button. Oh, that's awesome! You can just hold on the jump button and it just starts jumping. That's... Oh, it's so good! It's so good! You guys have no idea. Let's just quick stack every... Oh, I should put the crates back. Damn, I knew I was forgetting something. That's fine. Right, we'll just put these uh, uh, crates in here and then we'll open them in hard mode probably. We need to sell this and... See, what I want to do is I do want to take... Um, see, that's to increase melee speed. Let's just see how, how what's the difference. So if we swing, I mean that is quite fast, fair enough. And if we take it off, I mean it's not it's not that big of a difference. Honestly, I'd rather have these climbing claws, um, just just because they're a lot more useful. I think. Yeah, four percent critical strike chance is much better. All oh, right, Mr. Man, do you want this? Uh, yep, sell you, sell the sawtooth shark. Oh my God, one one fifty. Sell two silver. Yep. Uh, 50 silver for these. All right. Amazing. <laughs> there you go. And uh, good stuff. All right. So now all that's left to do is to test the Reaver shot and, and we're good. Oh, this is so good, man. I just have no idea. I can just hold on jump as well and it just automatically jumps. And we can jump. How high? How high do you think we can jump before it actually lets us take damage? So if we go from here and then jump again and then... Wow, We're pretty much no damage right now. <gasps> Let's go get that. <laughs> Look how easy it is. It's like effortless to get up and down places. I love it. All right, Reaver Shark time. Let's go ahead and test it out. And we, we can run really fast. I love it. I love it so much. You guys have no idea. And let's go ahead and try how fast this is. All right, let's turn this on. Uh, You know what? It's definitely faster. Yeah, I can feel it now. All right, I was going to say it's not that much faster, but I can definitely tell that it is so much faster than my previous one. <laughs> Especially when you go from like 30% pickaxe power to 100. It makes a big difference. That is amazing. All right, so we know what we're going to do next episode. Back into the crimson biome. Oh, how far is it? Oh, mining ore is like nothing. It's just like mining a dirt block. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. I think we can actually go into like the, the jungle and everything now with this thing. It's awesome. And with the jumping and everything else, like I said, it's just absolutely brilliant. So I really can't wait. Oh, wait, there's some iron down here. Let's see. Oh, iron is nothing. I remember with the copper pickaxe, it's like iron took a, it took a while, which is why I wouldn't mine it all the time, just because it took so long. But that is, that is like, it, it mines it like dirt again. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's so good. Oh, let's just go down to that cave and then we'll end the episode. Oh, look, here's some more iron. Watch me just mine through it. Wait, is there iron in front of me? I can't tell because it mines it so fast that it's like mining dirt. <laughs> 
It's just so good. It's so good. Who would have thought just fishing is like the greatest thing ever? I love it so much. All right. There we oh, and look, right from here, we can easily just jump up to there. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why jumping is great, that's why. Look, look where we just, look what we just did. We just went in a massive circle. And we're able to do that with just by jumping. And let me, let me show you again just how OP and amazing that is. All right, I, I don't even know where you came from. You can jump around there and literally jump outside the cave. That is insane. And the reason I got the climbing claws is if we can't make a jump, we can just go on the side of the wall and then just start jumping again like a pro. My God, I don't know what to say to you guys, except that I'm so happy right now. You guys have no idea how happy I am. It's just amazing. It really is. The series has taken a whole new turn. I can fall wherever I want. Look, I'm not even scared going in here. Because I can fall, I can do everything, and I can even grab all of this iron right under me, and I don't really care because it's it's so easy to get. It's so fast as well. <laughs> so um yeah, anyway guys, best episode ever so far in terms of progression. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video because I 100% have. My name is Perfect Lion, and I will see you guys later. Oh, I actually took damage there. <laughs> Bye.